I like to think about what the world is going to be like. A hundred years into the future, what do we want Mauritius to look like? Without nature, we become lesser human beings. We really do need to have beautiful things around us and natural things around us. Every individual on this world can make a difference and we can go out there and we can actually achieve our dreams. My first reaction was, oh yeah, I've won the prize. And then it hit me like an express train and I felt quite emotional. I was thinking about the people who inspired me as, as a young man. Carl could have made his mark anywhere else in the world and he decided to stay here and make his mark here on Mauritius. And all these species have now been saved and are in their hundreds. And what he has done is so deeply significant to the world of conservation. It's action. It's saying there are no such things as lost causes. We can fix this. He's achieved what most people would stand back and say is impossible. So if you can bring it down, we can then have a closer look at it. To be able to say that that person has actually saved a number of species. Yeah! I always get excited when I handle kestrels, even though I've done it hundreds of times. Wow, isn't that just beautiful? He made it happen because he believes it's right and he believes that was, is what you should do. And, you know, I think people with that level of conviction is what the conservation world needs. We have lost some totally remarkable creatures and that actually is a great driver when you realise that these species that we're working with here could disappear completely. And for me, Mauritius without pink pigeons and echoparakeets and Mauritius kestrels would be a much duller place. <laughs>